Welcome to a uh, UDK tutorial on speed trees. Um, demonstrate to you is how to uh, successfully bring in uh, speed trees from uh, uh, speed tree modeler to uh, UDK through the compiler. So we're going to open a content browser and see what a speed tree is in the first place. So if you type speed tree um, in the uh, browser under UDK content, you'll always get kind of a green. Um, green view of what a speed tree is and here I have a banana plant and a tobacco plant and I'll just bring down the tobacco plant here um, uh, it's a sample of a speed tree um, and usually they're small scale and I usually bring them up five times the size just to see um, the view of it and we'll just go to uh, uh, speed tree and you'll notice it in the uh, search for actors when you place a speed tree, it's called speed tree to actor. Just go to it. And uh, um, there's the speed tree. It's got wind effects and everything on it. And, uh, so, what's the first thing is we go to the speed tree modeler. This is an example of a tree. And you, and you open up some of the templates inside UDK. Uh, if you load, go to the C colon, C drive where you install UDK, and you go under the binaries for speed tree modeler samples you'll find in there a number of different trees palm conifer conifer rather uh, so this is an example of conifer tree and has a lot of materials in the bark and you can randomize the uh, the, uh, the tree uh, you can go into the randomized level of detail shape there's a lot of things you can do to uh, um, add the wind effects in here to see the wind effects see the wind uh, um, uh, adding to the uh, and you can add lighting effects in here too. So there's a lot of uh, things you can do to uh, um, uh, view uh, different shapes, and 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 you can go in too and use the shift key, sorry the the space bar key, and actually extend branches up and create your own branches. Uh, just uh, give it your own uh, flavor. Um, so, uh, anyways, that's this is uh, speed trees. It's a great realistic environment. Um, you can save yours as uh, kind of for test, whatever you want, um, and it saves it as an SPM format, as you can see up here. Next thing you got to do is going to bring it to what's called the compiler. Um, so I'm going to go add tree. Go to uh, my uh, folder. Um, so go into my uh, uh, folder here where the uh, UDK binaries uh, speed tree samples are and select the one I just did, the conifer test and you'll notice the uh, textures of that conifer are all included and what I'm going to do is compile that um, and I'm going to compile it to uh, a folder on the uh, desktop um, it's on a different location and once that's compiled you go into your uh, your uh, UDK brow content browser you go import go to the desktop where I put in the uh, conifer and it brings in a, also a, a few other files a normal map and a diffuse map but I'm going to bring in all three at once and I'm going to actually go in and click open and create a new package called forest trees so I can pack all those in one spot click OK to all and it imports um, all the bark okay and one more thing I've got to bring in is the leaves so I'm going to bring in the leaves for that uh, tree and uh, um, we're going to bring in this texture broadly arc into that same package. Oh, wrong one here. Uh, yep, yeah, wrong. Uh, let's find the broadly view details here. Uh, I think that's in the broadly texture. Diffuse. That's for the, and they're pretty large in file size. These textures, so it could take a while for that to come in. But there's the texture in. So then you drag this 
you double click this bee tree, here's the conifer, conifer, and there's a material. There's a lot to think about in the material. You got a branch. So you've got to create, even though you've got a, your uh, texture in there, you've got to create your, uh, your uh, um, uh, trunk texture. And you just select your bark type and open up the uh, trunk here. So you've got the bark, hit T. Okay, that'll bring your texture sample up. So there's your bark. That's the easy one because you can go into your speed tree and on the bark or branch material I just uh, uh, oops, got the right one here and uh, let's go use it sh should show up here uh, I got, oh, wrong one, material bark uh, oh yeah, to make sure you run your compiler too of your texture so the branch material comes in here, take a minute, and there you go. You've got, if you zoom in here, you've got your branch. And I put that same one in here for your other branch too material, so there you got a nice... Um, so the same thing with the leaves. Um, you create a new material for the leaves, except there's a lot of additional things you have to do with the leaves because of the... Uh, a mask blending, so we'll call it leaves. And in here, we'll grab the texture 2D for the diffuse map. Hit T in the keyboard and do a new texture sample for that. And then we'll bring in, uh, we'll import the normal map for that. Um, the normal map, or specular map. And it, it contains the uh, uh, the uh, the opacity map that you need. So a T for that. Bring it. First thing is though, you need to add uh, two things. You need the uh, 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 custom. Uh, sorry, for color. You need the math add, and you need the vertex color. Uh, vertex color. Uh, information it's under particles vertex color and what you need to do is assign the out of the texture sample to the A of the add and the add to the white of the vertex color and then um, put your spec in the spec power Feckler rather, you are add in the opacity mask here. Um, for some reason, oh, I didn't uh, let's make sure this is up here. Do my normal map first. Two. Let's bring that one in. Uh, normal. Make sure it's a blended mask material to uh, material blend mask, which is always an issue. So put the normal map here, and there we go. We should have everything connected. So then we just select that new material leaves, um, go into our Leaf card. Let's see if it'll uh, um, front and, and there's our tree. And all compiled. So when we bring that tree into um, and there it is. And that's how you do a speed tree.